right, man, we back. Good fellow sports TV we've been in the building. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And um, yeah, Young Buck announced a new album that he got coming out. All right. And he tagged Jay Prince in there. Now, if you know anything about the Young Buck 50 Cent situation, 50 Cent uh has been taking down all Young Buck new video uh music because he says that Young Buck owed money, so the record label was stopping Buck from producing mixtapes. Uh, albums or whatever else and it seems that young buck right now uh, has got jay prince as protection against 50 cent and his bully tactics all right uh, 50 cent is business savvy he made sure he probably had those contracts hot wired up and now he, he now seems that he's going to get james prince or he has gotten james prince uh to work his situation out with 50 cent now i got to the point where i thought buck at one point may have tried to stretch 50 cent or put him on ice but that's not how you handle business. Buck is a street dude. You can say whatever you want to say about Buck. You can talk about his sexuality. But 50 Cent is always going to defeat Buck and Beef. Even though Buck was dropping those diss songs. Foofy and whatever else. And they were really good. But 50 Cent had them all taken down. Because he's saying 50 uh, Buck owe him some money. So it seems that Buck wants to go want to go get the services of Jay Prince. And people laugh. And people say Jay Prince, James Prince this old country bumpkin. But James Prince got reach. And when people in New York say, well, James Prince, he ain't got no reach in New York or James Prince, he ain't going to do nothing up here. But if you really look at the history of New York, look at all them dudes that came from Jamaica and dudes that came from like North Carolina, Alabama and took over Bumpy Johnson, Frank Lucas, Pappy Mason, all them, dude, all them dudes was from the South and they came over and they ruled over a certain borough of the New or the city of New York. So they playing all tough, like New York's so tough, but they, they got like the lowest murder rate right now you know they got the lowest murder rate most of the murder rate is probably coming from the borough of the bronx okay they playing so tough but they lineage of their city is nothing but snitches from alpo to to who else you got out there that snitch frank lucas nikki barnes i mean all of them snitch when it boiled down to there so i'm not knocking it love the city of new york got roots there in the bronx but at the same time with uh you know with james prince man james princeton did some notorious things man todd floyd up in a, in a in a hotel room allegedly and beat his team you know james prince got somewhat of a rep and you know right now young buck's trying to employ employ james prince to to be his muscle against 50 cent but it's not just muscle you gotta know you gotta have somebody to know the business and remember carl crawford the baseball player his first artist was Megan Thee Stallion, and it seemed like Jay-Z tried to steal Megan Thee Stallion. Who he go get to uh, protect him from Jay-Z and Rock Nation? He goes against Jay Prince, you know? So anybody, you know, anybody that's struggling with, with the music business and contracts, just not on no, no gang stuff, somebody that really know the business and that can really help you out, James Prince, and even in the boxing world. It's James Prince, but Max Laverne didn't feel like he was getting a fair shake. He hired James Prince. James Prince got him, got him the right money, you know? Him and Dublin make sure, you know, uh, but make sure our money was right. So James Prince got an unbelievable track record for handling his business in the ring and boxing and music. So we'll see how this go, man. Um, I don't know if it's already hashed out or was him tagging James Prince on Instagram uh, a tactic to, to scare 50 Cent a business wise. So I linked our article in the description, but I'm interested to see how it play out because Buck music was jamming, man. Especially his 50 Cent disses. He still got it. But another thing I wanted to talk about is how 50 Cent didn't want to let like Lloyd Banks and Young Buck grow as artists. It, when he seen their first album was really, really good. He stopped every all the momentum they had from having sophomore albums. He made sure all of them flopped. And you can't have no mentor or have no boss that don't want to see you do better than them and succeed. And that's one of the best. That's one of the great reasons why the game should have left G on it. Because he could have never reached his potential. Working under 50 Cent because 50 Cent stunted all that growth. Except for Tony Yeo because he wasn't that good. But Buck and Lloyd Banks' first two albums straight out of Cashville and um, uh, uh, Hunger for More, was it? You know, uh, those were great albums. You know, but you can't have, you can't be signing nobody or your mentor can't be nobody that don't want to see you do better than them. And that's the problem that Floyd fighters having under him. Floyd and 50 so similar, that's why they bump, they bump heads. But hey, it's good for the sports TV. Don't forget to check out our music entertainment playlist. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I read the article to the description. Reach out to the email. If you got business questions, cry, response, ship, or video requests, all my links in the description. Appreciate the love and support. One time for the one time. It's your boy CJ. Good fella, good fella, sports TV. We gone.